A very good evening to you and thank you for joining us on Y254. My name is Patricia Murioki and tonight we're talking about overcoming the challenges of mentorship. We know that uh, when we talk about mentorship, it's something that every person probably desires to have such guidance in their life so that they're able to know when to make certain decisions and why they are making those decisions. And mentorship is a guidance provided by a mentor, especially an experienced person in a company or educational institution or any other aspect of life. Mentor Mentorship are key drivers of success. These personal connections lead to opportunities and promotions that are crucial for career development. Today we choose to focus on the challenges faced through this process and try to find solutions to address the loopholes that are there. To help us talk about this topic tonight, we have Sarah Muni, who is a life coach, and Gideon Makumi, who is a vice president, Youth Mentorship Foundation. Talk to us across our social media platforms. That is at Y254 channel. You can also reach me at Patricia Morioki. How are you people? You fine? Yes, we are. We're doing well. You're well? Thank you. It's warm in here. <laughs> <laughs> it is good since the weather outside is really not the best. Yes, yes, uh, yes. When we talk about um, mentorship, most of the times people talk about the impact of mentorship. Most of the times you talk about um, how has that journey been for you? What are some of the things that you've been able to get from that relationship that you've had? But there are these other things that people really don't talk about. And for me to feel that... Um, let us address this. It is because I also have experiences that I feel if I was to get certain guidance, I would have done better. And there's also something, some information that lacks in between, which now creates a disconnect between uh, people trying to really identify mentors. And to start our discussion tonight, uh, I'd like to start with you, Sarah. When we talk about identifying mentors, how are we supposed to do that? And as I said, should I go and ask Let's say I've seen Gideon, he's in the line of work that, I, uh, that I'm doing, and I like his ed work ethic, I like his values, I like literally how he, uh, he carries himself around that. Should I go and tell him, Gideon, please mentor me? Should I do that? As I, do, I, I identify mentors in life. Thank you, thank you. Uh, that's a very important question. Um, it's out of the norm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, but um, when you identify somebody who you'd like to mentor or somebody who really envisions, I mean, uh, embodies what you want to achieve in your uh, line of career or business, mm -hmm. um, the one thing I'd want to say is if you can or if you're in a position, get involved in their programs. Mm -hmm. They must be somewhere possibly running programs or somewhere because this is what happens. Anybody who is successful, they want to help. Mm -hmm. They want to reach out, they want to help. So if there's any mechanism or a platform that, uh, you know, they mentor people, find out how you can be involved and engaged. Mm -hmm. uh, the thing is that if you have identified that person, many other people have. You know, so but many people do that, but they don't really want um, they don't want to take part in possibly what they are doing, volunteer in programs or organizations that they, are, they run. Mm -hmm. That's one way. The other thing is possibly if you meet them in a networking event, it's it's OK. You can let them know what you're doing, what you're passionate about and let them also know that uh, you'd want them to mentor you and uh, which is the best way that uh, or, or the which is the best way that you can work uh, mm -hmm. towards, you know, them mentoring you. Mm -hmm. This is what I'd like to say at this point. The best Best mentorship is mentorship that is paid for. Mm -hmm. Mentor mentorship should not be for free. People don't appreciate. They don't okay. appreciate. Let me, this is what happens. You, I, I'll find a mentor uh, or somebody who I'd want to mentor and then uh, possibly because they are out there, you know. Uh, but we only go when we want to be fixed. When things have happened, mm -hmm. uh, things have gone south, mm -hmm. and then you want to be fixed. It's consultancy. Pay for it. Mm -hmm. If you, mentorship is a process, subscribe, pay for it, then you'll appreciate it. Wow. First of mm -hmm. all, because... Um, Gideon, when Sarah said that uh, mentorship, the best me mentorship is one that you pay for, you giggled. Why? D do you have a different opinion about that? Uh, thank What's you, your Patricia. Feel when she said that? Um, well, I agree with her. People don't value free things. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mentorship in itself, it's an investment that one has to make. Mm -hmm. um, nevertheless, on the other hand, I also think uh, it depends with who you're approaching and why, mm -hmm. and even the background. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand there are those levels of mentorship, mm -hmm. and uh, especially for someone like us, if I needed a mentor, it makes sense if I went and invested in that. Mm -hmm. But uh, on the other hand, we have that young man, say yeah. in Korogosho, mm -hmm. someone in high school. Mm -hmm. We may not ask them to pay for the mentorship. So I think uh, it all depends with what who, who is your 
audience who is the, that person seeking mentorship mm -hmm. are they in that position because for example in my case i started being mentored from high school mm -hmm. that time i wouldn't have afforded mentorship mm -hmm. but today where i am gladly i'll be able to go and pay my um, uh, if, if i found someone and there's something they have which i need most of them out here you 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 you're paying for them mm -hmm. to even be in those sessions you're paying for them mm -hmm. so i think it depends with the level in, at which a person is seeking that mentorship okay yeah As so well yes and no okay uh because i also kind of like the uh have some been uh, i think differently when it comes to saying that people should pay for like the best is one that has been paid for and when i was doing research for this topic i came across um a mentor who said that, um, like th they were giving a talk, and she said that the best mentorship for them is where you also have to um, realize, as a mentor, you also have to bring in, at some point, there has to be sponsorship in terms of you're mentoring this person. And when you get to hear of an opportunity, you're finding ways, like how can this person probably improve on a certain skill? What are your thoughts on that and how can mentors, because some of the mentors we have, they only, you only text them and you're like, okay, uh, I achieved this, I'm struggling with this, and they will really not throw out opportunities. There are people who are like that. What advice do you have for such mentors? Yes, um, I think as a mentor, your role is to really help somebody um, be able to up level, I mean, where they are, mm -hmm. you know, be, yeah, to expose them to opportunities, you know. So, um, and the thing is, is it, even for you, it's a win for you when you see this person growing. It's a win for you, mm -hmm. you know, because you can be able to, when you look back and see, oh, I've, I've been able to help one, two, three people mm -hmm. this far, you feel, I mean, you feel uh, achieved and happy mm -hmm. and fulfilled as a person. So I think that's, that's really the role. So any opportunity, and, and this is what happens to anybody who is growing or when you, when you reach someone in your career you find very many opportunities around you mm -hmm. they don't all belong to you yeah. they belong to people who are in your well, well in your space they belong to people possibly who you're mentoring your mentees mm -hmm. so that I mean that's the approach and um, so it, what what really um, depends what it depends on is also how passionate is this mentee mm -hmm. yes because there's also I've, I've spoken of the aspect of paying for men mentorship mm -hmm. structured mentorship which mm -hmm. actually you pay but also um, as we beginning and as he was saying it's good uh, your passion is what really takes you there. Mm -hmm. How passionate are you, mm -hmm. you know? And also, um, um, uh, how available are you? How mentable are you? Mm -hmm. You know, because you can only also mentor somebody to the level they're willing to submit to you. Mm -hmm. So how mentable are you as well? You know, so, uh, I mean, that's, that's, the, that's, the, um, that's the thing when it comes to mentorship. It's looking for opportunities here and there where you can be able to help people, assist people, but also you need to show passion. Mm -hmm. You need to show interest. You need to push. You need to be present. Ment for mentorship, you have to be present. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if somebody is always looking for you, if you're my mentor, for example, <laughs> and I'm the only one, and, and I'm the one who, I'm, I, if you're my mentor and uh, you're the one looking for me all the time, mm -hmm. all the time there's this opportunity, all the time there's this opportunity, all the time, I'll feel like, you know, I'm also pushing, you feel like you're also pushing me too much and, mm -hmm. you know, you start. So um, because I'm, I'm the one who is in need, I'm the one to keep coming to you, coming to you. There are many people who are also looking for you. So it's up to me to really show the interest and then also whichever opportunities you have as the mentor you can throw them around okay yes mm -hmm. I would like us to talk about the value of mentorship mm -hmm. Gideon there is someone out there watching us tonight and they have done their best they have shown passion and they have literally done everything that probably Sarah has talked about in terms of how you get to identify a mentor and they have not they're not lucky they still are they're still out there doing things all by themselves and they've sat down and told themselves I'm gonna do this by myself I will learn from myself because I have done my best in looking for this person but I cannot find them what is the value of mentorship now when it's coming when you have that one-on-one -on -one person who's gonna reach out who's gonna call when they see you doing things the wrong and they're like Patricia I think you need to up your game you need to go back to the drawing board what's the va what value does mentorship bring in okay thank you Patricia uh, what I think as far as the value of mentorship is concerned, first, it's very important for anyone seeking mentorship to understand that mentorship is not the only thing that will get you to where your goals are. What mentorship does, it accelerates that journey from where you are to where you want to, get, to go. Because uh, what happens is that your mentor can only do so much. I think 80% is you. 
the 80 percent is how much you even listen to this person who is holding your hand actually mentorship is a journey where someone is holding your hand to help you get there but this person may not always be there sometimes it, it is even through an email you told uh, abcd other times and the best is when you someone shares their experiences so i think uh, for one to get that value you have to do more than just the first value of it where you are looking at myself and i'm looking at patricia as the person who will get me to become who i want to be become uh, let's take mentorship as a place where i'm taking someone as a role model but i'm not taking it is not their responsibility to make me succeed it is my responsibility to pick lessons from them which will help me succeed so it ends at the point of you can do this actually what how i look at it is a mentor gives you suggestions and like a coach a coach will give you instructions a b c d a mentor will give you suggestions mm -hmm. that if you did this you likely to get there mm -hmm. if you avoided this mm -hmm. you're likely to achieve this so you have to you, you you can choose whether you pick the lesson or not mm -hmm. so at the point you're getting frustrated you're saying now i want to do it on my own probably there's something you're not doing right okay. but if you follow the suggestions you're getting from your mentor mm -hmm. you stand a chance of getting where you're going fa uh, faster okay yeah. uh sarah before we get talk about uh you get to tell us the difference between a coach and a mentor mm -hmm. This is some, uh, I put this out on my social media, and this is what one person said. Um, the problem from me, for me is a lack of mentors. Mentors who really walk the journey with you. They feel that's the problem. Do you feel we lack mentors that uh, we're living in an era whereby there are people willing to be mentored, but they are, we don't have mentors who are really willing to walk that journey with you? Um, I think mentorship these days in the 21st century is a big world. Mm -hmm. And like I was saying, anyone who is successful out there, they want to help. Mm -hmm. And if you find somebody who's really successful, they are very mean, they don't want to help, they are not successful. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's a matter of you positioning yourself and exposing yourself to maybe networking opportunities because I can assure you, whether it's in the STEM, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in science and engineering, or in whichever area that you are in, there's somebody who has gone ahead of you and made it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So mentors are there. It's about positioning. It's about you recognizing uh, what do I really want first of all, mm -hmm. because not everybody can mentor you. Uh, in which area do you need mentorship first of all? Mm -hmm. uh, who are people playing in that space? Make it your business to know your business and to know your your your, your industry. Mm -hmm. Who are the people making it in, in that industry? Who are the dons in that industry? Make it your business to know that. And also, where do they go? Which clubs do they go? Do they, are they part of like lottery clubs? Are mm -hmm. they part of, make it your business to know where they go. And this is, it's very simple. You just need to go to somebody's Facebook page uh, to know maybe what event they will be in. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, you can always find that Twitter, go to LinkedIn. These days you can even speak to Bill Gates on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. They are there. They are there personally, not even just their they are, they are technical but, teams. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They are usually there. You can follow somebody. You can know what they are working on and, um, you know, be part of what they are doing. Mm -hmm. So that um, mentors are there. That's, I think, the first thing I want to assure anybody who thinks that there are no mentors around them mentors are there position yourself um, identify what exactly you need and also reach out mm -hmm. be mentable mm -hmm. be mentable yeah and like um, you know um, like like you are saying one of the challenges you find in mentorship was that I, I don't have somebody who's always there you know it's 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 not really the business of your mentor to really follow you every mm -hmm. time they are they are making sure that oh you know as if it's their responsibility really for mm -hmm. you to really succeed well they are responsible partly responsible because when they accept they want to assist you but it's you to really push mm -hmm. and be present and be you know really show that passion you mm -hmm. know uh, then uh, you'll be able to get there because um like you were saying they can only do so much yeah you know the, the rest, rest is, is really up to you. yeah the rest is really up to you uh, yeah yeah. So what now is the difference between a coach and a mentor? So that people don't get these two mixed up. Yes, I'm a coach, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but yeah. I'm also a mentor in yeah. another way. Yeah. I think, let me give this analogy. Um, a coach is somebody you want to travel. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's say COVID has, has not. <laughs> uh, you want to travel. Mm -hmm. You want to go to, let's say, to to Uganda, mm -hmm. possibly some exposure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have never been out of the country as mm -hmm. a young person. Mm -hmm. Um, a coach will tell you exactly what you need to do to get there. They will not go with you. They will tell you, okay, if you want to go there two ways, mm -hmm. you can fly mm -hmm. or you can go by road mm -hmm. or you can walk. Mm -hmm. So if you walk, 
it will take you this, this number of hours. Uh -huh. You will follow this route. You mm -hmm. will get there. That's that's one. That, that's higher. Yeah. Then they'll also tell you you can also use. Um, uh, you can go to Simba Coach. You can go to uh, Guardian. Mm -hmm. Those buses. You will pay this much, and by ten hours you'll be in Kampala. Mm -hmm. They will also tell you uh, if you go and if you do that, you'll actually get there. Mm -hmm. They'll also tell you or they tell you okay, you can go to uh, Kenya Airways. I mean at the airport, uh, just board a plane. You pay this much, and in about an hour you'll be in Kampala. Mm -hmm. If you do that, you will get there. Mm -hmm. Hiya, a mentor is somebody who will actually tell you okay, you want to go to Uganda, you want to go to Kampala. They will actually go with you. They tell you okay, we have this route we can go. We have this another one. They will actually go with you. They are tour guides, mm -hmm. coaches are. Uh, travel agents, let me say that. <laughs> they <laughs> actions and they let you know, yes. figure it out for yourself. But you will get there. Uh -huh. But mentors, they are tour guides. They will tell you, okay, sasa tumefika busia, hapa ni busia. It's like this, wacha tukule, wacha tupumzie kidogo. Yes, they will go with you. I think that's the best analogy I can use. Okay, yes. uh, and I really like it. And I hope that people really get to differentiate uh, the two. Yes, like, you know, like a mentor, like I know m most people watch football, I mean, mm. or soccer, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> When we have the coaches, yeah, yeah, like uh, Mourinho, I mean Jose, Jose Mourinho, do they play? No, they don't. They don't play, but they are able to stand somewhere and and look at uh, okay, who's one of his <laughs> players? Okay, well, yeah, I'm not a football fan. I'm <laughs> sorry, help so us, I cannot right? help. Yeah. Who's one of his like players? <laughs> 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 can you believe us? <laughs> yeah. So they are able to look at a player. And tell them, I think you can best play number nine. You can best play a uh, striker. You can. They can be able to stand at a vantage point and tell you, okay, these are your strengths. Okay. Maximize on them. These mm -hmm. are your weaknesses. You need to improve here. And right now, I need you to come back and just get some breath mm -hmm. yeah and then you go back so they're just instructing you they're able to stand somewhere but then there's another person who can actually tell you okay let me go to the field with you mm -hmm. you know and and show you this is how you do the is this a goal kick or the corner kick what yeah that's it <laughs> so food for, for i hope those two <laughs> analogies have helped you uh, get the difference between a co coach and a better you need mo both okay okay yeah. uh, so i think uh, that we need to address something uh, where people feel that is now people looking for mentors. Mm -hmm. There's this organization. You want to be mentored by the CEO who comes at the, in the office probably twice a week. And you have your head of department there who can be willing to mentor you. But because you, you're, you're aiming, your aim is up there, there's no problem with aiming. But I think how can we now come and create a balance in being very realistic, even the people that we want uh, probably to mentor us? Because I feel probably we might not find mentors because of even our approach that we have. What do you think, Gideon? I think uh, first it has, it has to start with uh, the objective. Why do you need a mentor? What are you looking for in that mentor? Because you can have different types of people mentoring you. You can have someone mentoring you in, in career. You can have another one mentoring you in business. You can have another one mentoring you in life issues. So I think between your CEO and your HOD, uh, what is my need? If my need is probably to get to know how I can get raise my business through to where my CEO is, then I think my CEO becomes a better choice. But if my business is to know how do I how do I make my leadership skills better? How do I manage even the Maybe they are the HOD. How do I manage maybe another level of uh, employment on my team? Then I think a HOD becomes better because that is what they are doing directly. So the need should guide the approach. What you're looking for should be the one informing you that Sarah is the one that I need. Mm -hmm. uh, but if probably it's not that coaching I need, I need someone who will help me know how is the media world. Mm -hmm. Then Patricia becomes the best person. And I like uh, what Sarah has said. What the, the analogy you gave about the difference between a mentor and a coach. I think we need to realize that whereas I need this person to work with me mm -hmm. as a mentor, mm -hmm. I also need to know that they have other things that they are doing. Mm -hmm. And if I know my CEO even at office, I only see her once mm -hmm. in a week, for example, mm -hmm. then that means she she's so busy, mm -hmm. I may not get all the time that I think I need to grow. Mm -hmm. But my HOD 
they are there with me every day. Mm -hmm. So which is a prudent choice? Uh -huh. Getting the person that I think will be available. Because going back to the question you had asked, sometimes we blame our mentors that they're not there. But in essence, these people, they, they cannot mm -hmm. be there always. Mm -hmm. So I think you have to be wise enough. And Sarah said it right. Know where they are. Just know their schedule their, uh, in this place. If my mentor is the kind that will b is not even in the country <laughs> all along, yeah. then I'll blame them, yet they are doing what they're supposed to Good. do. Yeah. But I can get another person who is another option who will also guide me in the same. So mentors are there in plenty, but we have to know what we want for us to choose the approach that we're going to use to get that person to mentor us. Yeah. Okay, and today because we said we're talking about um, challenges, uh, these are the things that people don't talk about. I was talking to a friend today who felt like, was, uh, when I told her like what I'm going to be talking about tonight, and she told me, I feel that women struggle in identifying mentors more than men. What do you think, Sarah? Wow, that has not been the case for me. Mm -hmm. I think because you're driven by passion and people can see it, let me tell you, it attracts, passion attracts. Mm -hmm. Passion is attractive, mm -hmm. first, of all, mm -hmm. first of all. So how passionate are you for about your goals, about what you want to achieve? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So well, maybe, uh, maybe that uh, could be a study that has been done. Mm -hmm. But uh, in my experience, because I've also mentored, um, you know, I've also mentored women. And also that women, not many women are willing to extend the mentorship and the guidance to other women okay to wow. Women. wow 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um i'm also a beneficiary of mentorship mm -hmm. from women mm -hmm. yes and um in my experience i haven't seen a case where i approached somebody and uh, you know they outrightly refused or anything mm -hmm. i haven't seen that maybe widely well, it's there. There are ladies who don't like mentoring other ladies. Mm -hmm. But I, like, like I said, if you're really successful in an area and you don't want to mentor, you're not really successful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, for me, in my experience, I think I have seen women who have been very, very willing to assist, who have programs. You know, also, the other thing, um, there are people who are well up there. They've, they've done some things very well, but also they don't have structures, really like a structure where they can get people together. Mm -hmm. You know, so getting this person, also becomes hard you know getting this person becomes a bit hard you know and unless you really really follow unless you really really look for them they are not you find they like they are not there yeah you find like they're not there but uh, i don't want to sit here and say that i found women to not to be you know they don't like me i i can't really say that it would not be fair for me because i've benefited and i've seen many other who have benefited from mentorship from other ladies mm -hmm. possibly gideon has a Gideon's different, Gideon's out different opinion. Out view, yeah uh, i think uh, i'm of different opinion i think it's all about it's about the personality of the person mm -hmm. and i've also seen women even wanting to do more than men mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> the uh, ironically mm -hmm. uh, starting with my boss mm -hmm. uh, i mean our boss is will be the best mentor you ever find mm. and i believe in that value of a mentor is happier when they see you succeed even more than they have than when they see you fail or when they're the only ones shining and if i don't want anyone to go beyond where i am i think i'm even limiting myself in the sense that i'll never get to the next level if i can't allow another person to come to where i am okay. i will always remain where i am okay so really I need to allow myself to be useful because someone else was also useful mm -hmm. for me to get where I am. Mm -hmm. So it's only fair to return mm -hmm. that and do it to someone else. Okay. So women, I think they do it more than men. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it will not be just if we don't talk about this oversharing. Okay. You have a mentor who is guiding you in your career as a journalist. Are you supposed to be going to tell this person, oh, I have this problem, oh, my village has done, I need this, this. How much should you share with your mentor? Where do we now draw the line? Because I feel some people overstep and the mentor is like, wow, I, I think this is not becoming too much for me. And they disturb themselves, which is very okay and which is very allowed. So before you get to talk about when can a mentee let go of a mentor, Sarah? Yes, uh, actually, you know, people go all the way. You know, sometimes the, the kind of view we have about mentorship is that, you know, mentors should do everything for mm -hmm. me to succeed. They should give me money. Yeah. I can come to his office without money and they're supposed to fix me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't borrow your mentor's money. Mm -hmm. It's manalist. Yeah. It's not good at all. Because, no, uh, you know, and, and then, all, you know, it's not bad to share like I had this challenge and all that, but don't look needy. 
Don't mm -hmm. go to them looking needy. Mm -hmm. Like you need help. I also have help as if you're looking for sympathy. Yeah. Don't. No, 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 no. There's a way you can, you know, you need to be, be decent. You know, be decent and really just address whatever it is that you, is, if it's assistance in business, just say, this is really my, my need. It's the, there's no problem with you saying you have a wedding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no problem. But, you know, don't look needy. How much will you contribute for me? No, let, let, let them let make that the be decision. in their discretion. They want, let me tell you, your mentor, they want the best for you. Mm -hmm. They want the best for you. They will do anything possibly, for, you know, to, to see you succeed. Because, you know, I'm, I mean, if somebody has really, really wants to assist you, they really want you to succeed. So, uh, but don't, don't look needy, first of all. Okay. Yeah, and don't. Do not, do not <laughs> look, please. Yes. Don't look needy. <laughs> have limits. On what have limits. Yes. In addition to that, I think it's very important for us to understand that the person I'm going to f to get as a mentor is not a perfect person. Mm -hmm. It's it's not an angel who came from heaven yeah. to come and now show me the way. Mm -hmm. This person has their own needs. Yeah. They have their own issues. Mm -hmm. Probably they have even bigger stressing issues. They are also than you trying do. to continue winning yeah. in whatever sector so they are. So sometimes when you go to them like begging. It's very, very unprofessional. Mm -hmm. I think what you're supposed to do from the beginning, define the objective of our relationship. Mm -hmm. As we start, this is what this is what I need, mm -hmm. and let's define how we are going to do to to, to work around it. Okay. Because when you do, people get pushed. Or even if I had so much money, mm -hmm. sometimes I feel so pushed back when all you do is to come and tell me the problems that you have. Mm -hmm. If I'm willing to come and assist, mm -hmm. or if I ask you, for mm -hmm. example, were you able to pay your rent this month, mm -hmm. and I'm willing to chip in, that's a different story. Mm -hmm. then but when go in August, I don't have rent. In <laughs> October, I don't have rent. You push me away. Mm -hmm. Not okay. because I am not willing to help, mm -hmm. but because I feel the Coming objective of our relationship is, is not being yeah. met. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as we wind up, because time is now not on our side, at what point as a mentee, uh, because you it's, it doesn't matter because this person is one who is up here. Actually, they are the only one. They are the only ones who see things the right way and all that. You can also see someone and be like, "Hey, by the way, it's been three months. There is no impact. This this mentorship relationship is not really. It is not impacting me in any way. What point do you say thank you? And how do we say it in respectful ways? Because we might need them ten years down the line. Sarah, as we. Yes, Close up, please. You and you can also actually outgrow your mentor. Yeah, it's you know? true. But yeah. uh, when you find such a situation, um, you don't go to the mentor and say, okay, thank you for your mentorship, now I'm God. No, <laughs> mentorship is, um, <laughs> is a lifetime process. Uh -huh. And even the person who helped you when you are in primary school, maybe they mentored you, they guided you in some way, and you know for sure your life is where it is because somebody back then helped you. You don't look down on them and say, okay, now they, they, mm -hmm. like, uh, they have no value. No. Mm -hmm. So just maintain that rapport and relationship but uh, maybe possibly at, at a distance mm -hmm. you know uh, try and check up on them sometimes mm -hmm. if you, you know but don't just let it you, you it's not it should not be official like now um i've so gotten I'm enough up. of your Thank yeah you. of your mentorship uh, <laughs> see you in the next <laughs> level or see you in the next life no 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 you don't do that just maintain a good and it's wisdom mm -hmm. you know it's wisdom don't do it. and if you find you're actually doing better than your mentor mm -hmm. well but you know don't don't try to show them or try to shine to show them that you're shining mm -hmm. all of them it's mm -hmm. it's it's some we apply some wisdom mm -hmm. just keep contact uh -huh. keep a rapport with them mm -hmm. you know but also look for people who can really push you now to where you're going okay. yeah because actually you can outgrow your mentor okay mm -hmm. Gideon, i want to give you 30 seconds what is the one thing uh, just not long story not telling stories what is the one thing that has helped you really maintain the best of relationship with your mentor because i happen to know your mentor and they don't like you have the best relationship as you wind up thank you patricia Special thanks to Joe. Mm -hmm. He's uh, my mentor. Mm -hmm. He has helped me become, he has raised the boy in me mm -hmm. to become a man. Mm -hmm. that, that says it all. Mm -hmm. A young man from Korogosho mm -hmm. is now a man mm -hmm. doing something better than I would have mm -hmm. done mm -hmm. if I wasn't having a mentor. So my mentor has really helped me become a better man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you very much uh, for finding the time to be with us tonight and share your sentiments on this topic. I hope that for people who are watching us, I hope that you've learned. All I can tell you is that mentorship is really important. If you find yourself in a place where you have a mentor, do everything that you've heard these two uh, people talk about. And also if you're at a position to if you're in a position to extend the mentorship, the wisdom and the knowledge that you have, do not uh, 
keep all that to yourself. Let us share because at the end of the day, we all need each other. Thank you very much. My name is Patricia Morioki. Do have yourselves a very good night.